We think diversification is as practice generally makes very little sense for anyone that knows what they're doing. Uh, they, diversification is a protection against ignorance. I mean, if you want to make sure that nothing bad happens to you relative to the market, you own everything. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that, that is a perfectly sound approach for somebody who, who does not feel they know how to analyze businesses. If you know how to analyze businesses and value businesses, it's crazy to own 50 stocks or 40 stocks or 30 stocks probably uh, because there aren't that many wonderful businesses at, that are understandable to a single human being in all likelihood and, it, and to have some super wonderful business and then put money in number 30 or 35 on your list of attractiveness and, and forego putting more money into number one just strikes Charlie and me as, as, as madness. It's a confession in our view that you don't really understand the businesses that you own. Within Berkshire, I could pick out three of our businesses and I would, I would be very happy if they were the only businesses we owned and I had all my money in Berkshire. Now, I love it, the fact that we can find more than that and that we keep adding to it. But three wonderful businesses is, is, more, than, uh, is more than you need in this life to do very well. And uh, uh, the, average, the average person isn't going to run into that. I mean, if you look at how the fortunes were built in this country, uh, they weren't built out of a portfolio of 50 companies. They One-way bets. This isn't portfolio balancing you're talking no, about. No, you know, all that asset management, you know, diversification, that's for idiots, right? Because you, because you, can't, you can't diversify enough to know what you're doing. Wait, did Warren Buffett, the godfather of investing, just say that diversification is pointless? I mean, I would guess that from somebody like Mark Cuban, but Warren Buffett? What's up, guys? Pizza Carlo. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about why diversification might not be for everybody. Diversification is one of the first things that you're taught about when learning to invest. Why are people like Warren Buffett and Mark Cuban saying that diversification is useless and or for idiots who want to limit their risk? That's what I want to go over in this video. First, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps these videos get ranked and pushed to more people, which in turn makes our community grow. Before I break down why Mark Cuban and Warren Buffett say that diversification might not be the best thing, I wanna explain why you should diversify or at least why we're taught to diversify. There is mainly one reason for diversification and that is to limit your risk. By traditional standards, if I were to take my entire portfolio and put it in say, one company, if something terrible happens to that market, if some bad publicity to that company happens, or if something within the fundamentals of the company changes, I could really be risking my wealth. And now for people like us who are younger, maybe you only have five or $10,000. If you were to lose half of that, that's not the end of the world. But you have to think most of investors, especially before this last 10 years when younger people got into investing, people have their entire life savings in these portfolios. And if they were to put all their money in just one company and something bad were to happen, that would destroy years and years of wealth. So what you would traditionally do is take your portfolio and spread it over about 10, 20, or 30 companies. And the most important thing when picking these companies obviously are fundamentals, but it's also to be diversified upon different asset classes, upon different countries and regions, and also on different sectors. And traditionally, the main thing to think about when you're diversifying your portfolio is to spread them across different sectors. It doesn't make sense to put all your money in tech, all your money in real estate, all your money in construction and materials or natural gases and oil. Because like I said before, if something terrible were to happen to the tech market and all your money is in tech, well, you're gonna see your wealth drastically decrease. And that's not something that we want. But one of the things that I wanna talk about with traditional diversification is that most people think that they're diversified when in reality, they're not. So let's take three companies that I am currently invested in. TPR, which is Tapestry Brands, Skyworks Solution, which is a semiconductor company, and Wynn Resorts, which is a gambling slash hospitality company. Now in traditional diversification, we would think that this is great because Skyworks Solutions is a semiconductor company and therefore it's part of the tech sector. Tapestry owns companies such as Coach, Stuart Weitzman, and Kate Spade, which is great because that's the retail sector. And finally, we have Wynn Resorts, which owns huge resorts and casinos, and that's a completely different sector. So now, 
we would think that we have three different companies with three different sectors. But in reality, what is one thing that they all share? And don't cheat, but if you know the answer to this, comment down below. One thing that all of these companies share is their exposure to China is insane. Recently, most of you have probably heard about the US-China trade deal. And these three companies have really been swinging massively over the past year because they are all exposed to China. Skyworks works with Apple, which obviously Apple, a lot of their demand, a lot of their supplies comes out of China and therefore tariffs are really affecting them. The same thing is with Tapestry and Wynn, one of their biggest properties is in Macau. So traditionally, we would think that we're in a great position because we have three separate companies in three separate sectors. But in reality, if global economic slowdown happens in China or this trade deal falls through, we could see huge issues with these companies. You have to remember to not only think about different sectors, but to think about different markets, different countries, and a whole lot more. And the more research that I've done about not diversifying, the more I kind of want to adopt this style myself. I'm not just saying to go put all your money in one company and be like, fuck it, I love Apple. Like, let's just put everything in it. But hear me out a bit. Both Mark Cuban and Warren Buffett say that diversification is risk management against being lazy and ignorance. And I want to talk about the three reasons why you should not diversify. First is really your inability to understand the companies in which you're investing in. Say that you have 20, 30, 40 companies in a portfolio, especially the older you get and the more wealth you have, it's nearly impossible to really understand those companies. It's kind of like being a jack of all trades and yet master of none to really understand the core values of the companies, who's running the companies, to keep up with all of the earnings calls, to keep up with all of the products that are coming out, to keep up with the overall market. It's just something that you can't do. I'm kind of moving into this because there's a lot of companies that I'm in that I just don't care about, such as PPL. They have a great dividend. I love their balance sheet. And fundamentally, they're a great company, but I just don't care about the energy sector. I don't care to deep dive these companies. I don't have fun keeping up with these companies. And to be quite honest, it's not something that I really want to study and evaluate and keep up with. So for me, going into the future, that's something that I'm gonna think about. And the third is that because you have so many companies, you're unable to react quickly to any major news or things that happen. And now, while you're a value investor, and if you're a fundamental investor, you don't need to be constantly trading and constantly reacting to the market. But if you have 20, 30, 40 companies, and if you're somebody who's just buying and holding and dollar cost averaging, if something fundamentally were to change with the company, you might not even know. And if you really look at the people who have gained a lot of wealth, like Mark Cuban and Warren Buffett, which they both say themselves, most of their money was made through a handful of companies. So I'm not saying not to diversify at all, but I'm gonna keep around five to six companies that I truly understand, that I really love staying up to date with, and that I enjoy deep diving. And then this way, if something bad happens, I'll be able to react quickly. And that's the most important thing. If you look at one of the biggest holdings that Mark Cuban has had recently, it's Netflix. He understood the streaming company. He started broadcast.com and sold it to Yahoo. So at the time of Mark Cuban purchasing Netflix years and years and years ago, he knew the streaming service. He knew how to evaluate that company. He understood that market. And therefore he was 100% comfortable with taking a position and holding that company for the long term. The conclusion to this video is that diversification is not right or wrong. It's just about understanding what truly diversification is. Make sure that when you're starting a portfolio that you really think about diversifying between sectors, different countries, and different exposures. And the most important thing is to truly understand the companies that you're investing in. And if that means that it's only three or four companies that you really know, you understand that sector, you love that sector, in my opinion, that's more important than just buying other companies up because you need to be diversified. You know, after really deep diving my portfolio that I posted last week on my Facebook group, I realized that there are companies that I own in the tobacco sector, the energy sector, and the food and beverage sector that while that would make a good diversified portfolio, I don't really care about the companies that I'm invested in. I just bought them because I like the fundamentals, I like the balance sheet, and I want to be diversified. Which isn't always the worst thing, it's just about what personally works for you. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know any videos you guys want to make in the future. Until then, I'll see you next time.